friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. Oh, I am so happy you are here. Yes. Um, and if you're new, thank you for giving me a chance um, to read your cards and hopefully you'll get awesome messages. And if you're one of my old time friends, thank you so much for coming back. Like I said, it always does mean a lot to me. I may not be the most socialist person, most social person, but I truly do appreciate that you come here and you support me. Um, you, it really does mean a lot. So today we're kind of doing an interesting bit. We're doing the full moon, right? But it's not just about the full moon. It's well, the full moon usually means it's a time for release. It's a time of letting go, um, and also, but it also making way for something like new, um, if if that makes sense. It's almost like a completion cycle. So that's really cool. So. <clears throat> And, and if, like, this is a timeless reading, but when I first recorded it, it was a full moon. There was an eclipse to a full moon, like an eclipse in Scorpio. So, so interesting. Um, it's an interesting combination. So, this is hopefully very exciting. Um, and so, <laughs> my, my little kitty cat thinks so. <laughs> He's very vocal. Um, so, this is going to be pile one right here. Uh, and I showed you how I built the piles that's something new I'm trying to do oh and if you like I'm doing there's a reiki at the end of the video so check that out and that's for like um helping to release you know using the full moon like I said for releasing for um you know time and completion but also um to kind of like help your dreams come true so this is pile number two this is pile number three I, I really like all these cards so I'm very excited to see what everything has so let's go ahead and take a deep breath in close our eyes and now as you exhale and open your eyes choose whichever pile draws you to it all right let's do this hello pile one hello hello um so thank you so much for being here yes it really does make my day when you're here um it helps support the channel <laughs> and if you want to help support the channel even more Give it a thumbs up it's free um and also consider subscribing <laughs> or if you want an energy exchange there's information for that down below or check out my etsy as well all right let's get into it so whew, this is gonna be an interesting one because we have focus this is what is sort of um like the full moon is it's sort of oh there's so many ways to look at it it is a sense of completion. There is a sense of a cycle ending, right? But there's also a sense of wish fulfillment. There's also, I want to say for you, it's it's gaining this clarity. And so I want to want to show you this, that this is a sense of focusing on transformation. So this is a great time for focusing, I would say, on yourself. Also third eye, so maybe intuition. Um, I almost want to say to level up that intuition. <laughs> I love my little guy. He really likes to like talk while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> and the funny thing is I just fed them so he would be quiet. But mm -mm. <laughs> So here we have transformation. We have, um, especially with your intuition, guiding. Your intuition is guiding you to this transformation. Um, and so I also feel like your crown chakra as well. So it's very much possible like thought downloads. Like there's some something like um, downloads. And, and just, I feel like there's enlightenment coming through, especially now. And that's a big statement, I know. But I mean, like, some, especially, of like, I feel like if you've been worried about certain things, you've been worried about, could be many different things. Like, or you can almost see that this person's also, half of them is underwater. So there's, could be, you've been feeling like there's a lot of intensity. There's a lot of, maybe about your emotions, about thoughts, about everything. And it, and I'm, I'm, what I'm seeing here is with this full moon, you're finally coming out of that. You're finally going, you know, like rising above. That's what I'm going to say. So I do really like this energy for you. Um, let's get to it. Yeah, I love that. Okay, look at that. So for some of you, this might have been financial concerns, financial worries that is happening here. Um, okay. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah, look, I want you to see that Queen of Cups, that makes total sense because you have this. Um, so you're mastering, possibly mastering your emotions. And I don't mean that in terms of like mastering how to like hide them or, or how to suppress them, but rather like taking them in, integrating them. And so you're mastering the emotions. That's why you're also rising above anything that has been overwhelming you. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of like with the chariot, there's a sense of moving forward. Uh, like we said that I could I totally say this. Um, you have two night energies and though we have the night of of um, pentacles, which is slow removing energy. So I want to say that there is going to be abundance coming and, and like maybe that's something you're really worried about. And then there's you're finally coming to it, but it's going to take um, it's going to be slow. There's going to be progress but it's still especially in terms of like be like business career and finances so but there is motion moving forward in terms of creativity though that is something that's very important for you um <laughs> really <sighs> using this energy of movement forward the, the chariot um, i actually want to like move this here to to kind of put this because this is what i'm seeing that you have the overall chariot moving forward and so you're moving forward making progress. Um, we do have, look, you go up the two of pentacles, then we have the three of pentacles, and then you move to knight of pentacles. So there's a lot of progress in terms of finances. It's just, it may not be fast enough for you, but there is a sense here with this um, queen of cups, and like I said, your emotions, finding peace and balance, regardless of what's happening in the outside world. That, that I always like this. Um, there's a sense of grounding yourself coming through um yeah fast moment movement um so when you have this and i'm like this is the fascinating thing because when you have this um sense of balance i almost feel that's when the abundance starts flowing in you have the teamwork and take action so you start taking action because you're i feel like you've been feeling overwhelmed um <laughs> like and you can see it but once you have that clarity understand that there's a need for you to in transform, I have to say, it is an actual taking action. You have to transform, not only like in your thoughts, but in physicality. So you have to start taking even small steps. And here is the, the Knight of Pentacles, even tiny steps. Um, so if you're concerned about finances, maybe saving little bit by little bit. It could also be investing little bit by little bit. Um, it could be like starting something, right? Where you where you're like little bit by little bit. It's that's the focus. And if you, you're you know needing maybe as you begin, as you start, as you progress here, a little by little, maybe having you know joining collaborations, <laughs> doing something with others. Um, yeah, as, but I feel like especially if you're wanting to get your word out about something. Um, so for example, if you're if you're thinking about like maybe getting a different job, putting out the word maybe with your friends. It's like, I'm looking for this job. It could also be here for you if you're saving, maybe getting a part-time job as well. Like, you know, like doing or side side hustles, if you will. <laughs> like my cats, just, they, they just love readings um, because they love their, to get their attention. <laughs> All right, so let's move on because, oh well, yeah, because I think we're, we're ready and, and my little buddy's telling me. <laughs> Let's move this along. All right, let's see what other things are coming. Okay. Um, and this is my, um, this is, by the way, this is All That Glitters Tarot by Gifted Soul 777 Check out her YouTube channel. She's really amazing. This is the Wish um, Oracle by V Love and Tarot. This is going to be retiring soon. So if you like it, go check it out on Etsy. And this is my Magical Sight Oracle, which you can, all of these three, you can find on Etsy. So check them out, you know, support V Love and Tarot has a good channel um, and she also has V Love and Crystals. So support it if you can. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's get into this in terms of we have respect and be friends. So I almost feel like the part of, of this is, well, you can be attaining, getting respect more especially like uh, acknowledgement, let's say, acknowledgement for the hard work you've done, um, for the things that you've been putting in, that could be something that is is um, coming through here. So this is sort of 
And like, I almost want to say not only just externally, but putting, you know, like respecting yourself, respecting where you're at and respecting, uh, I would say the journey. Yes. Um, we also have befriend. So I want to, you're befriending some qualities, something that you've been, I almost want to say your shadow or maybe, <laughs> I feel like maybe befriending somebody who's been kind of um, at work maybe or who's been a little bit tough. But I, I think friendship there would be very beneficial. It's sort of like being open to befriending um, even people that you don't expect, maybe people who whose point of view you don't even agree with or something. Um, I want to say finding like common ground will possibly help you in terms of, I want to say networking too a little bit, but not in, in a shallow sort of like networking where you're just like, you know, shallow things. No, but deep, deep um, learning to respect. <laughs> my, my friends are very uh, excited, jumping everywhere. Okay, so they're excited for your, um, they're excited for this. <laughs> All right, let's see what next is coming through. We do want to see what the moon cards for you is. Look at the bigger picture. And that's what I kind of, okay, that I like that a lot because with this befriend is you never know. <laughs> and I'm not saying like, you know, have superficial friendships. No, but you never know who's going to help you out. So being open, not being closed off is so important. Like collaboration can come from the least, like the least expected source um friendships can come from a least expected source so don't don't just assume anything about anybody really be open and really be willing to listen hear somebody even if you think that like oh my goodness there there's somebody who I'll, I'll never get along with they might surprise you and you might really like something really amazing might come from them especially for this this is an important one um let's see what other things come here so full moon in pisces forgive oh yeah that's a good one. I don't, I mean, I guess the, the focusing and then letting go and then the emotion. So there's a sense here of forgiveness. So forgiving yourself possibly for, especially like for emotions from the past. Um, so letting go of that, there's a sense of forgiveness there. I really like this card, by the way. Um, and maybe forgiveness of any, like what you consider past mistakes. Forgiveness brings about respect. If you're willing to admit some, like, sometimes you make mistakes, I think that's important. That, um, yeah, like, whenever you make a mistake, I, I say you apologize for it, admit it. Um, it is, it's a big, like, I would say a big person who says, like, you know what, I was wrong about something. Um, most people just don't acknowledge it. <laughs> it so, very, very, very amazing. I do like this. All right, I'm going to leave it there with you right here because my friends are making it tough to, to do the reading. But I hope you like this reading. I like this energy a lot. There's a lot of forward motion. Really listen to, um, continue to listen to your heart and passion as you move little by little forward. Don't give up, my friends. Never give up. Your good things are coming your way. Um, so I'm sending you a giant hug. And until I see you in the next one, bye-bye, my dear friends. from group two. Oh my goodness I'm so excited you are here so if you do want like this or if you want to support the channel a thumbs up and also liking and sharing with people who you think um, would resonate with me and also uh, would you know take value out of um, I guess the content please do share it with others um, and also just if you want to do any energy exchange there's information down below and also if you want to support the etsy shop all information is down below but let's get into it so we do have nourishment <laughs> i'm so excited for you because this is a time where i feel like i want to say that things that you've planted like the a lot of seeds that you've planted are finally coming like you know they're bearing fruit but i do want to say there's a little caveat in terms of it's not the end. There's a whole lot more. There's like, I feel like an even bigger um, <sighs> fruition is meant to come. Like, and I could see a bigger, um, so maybe what I, what it is, what I'm saying is like, as things start to come to fruition, as things start to actually come to, the, come out for you, maybe it might be time for you to start planting new seeds, creating new ideas, moving forward. 
seven is that you are definitely on the right path for yourself. There's also the sense of nourishment. This is very important for you as well. Taking care of your body, my friends. The more like, because if you're planting seeds, that's great. <laughs> like we're, you know, like planting seeds is amazing. But part of keeping that process going is that you have to take care of yourself. Um, I always say health is number one because without health, it's sort of like everything kind of stops. So putting yourself, putting your health as the forefront during this time is highly important for you but i do see i do see a lot of abundance for you and i really really am glad and i'm glad because i do feel like you deserve it <laughs> this is sort of reminding me a little bit of the seven of pentacles leading almost like it was it's like you're right between that seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles you're starting to see a nine of pentacles um but there's still a little bit work to be done <laughs> Please excuse my little buddy. Um, he's very much, uh, he's been like very vocal. I don't know why. It's like, that's just sort of how lately. Um, that's how it is. So this is the All That Glitters Tarot by Gifted Soul 777. And this is the Manga Tarot, it's the Queen of the Moon um, Oracle. I have to just, I try to remember. Sometimes I say it, sometimes I don't. Um, so. And the reason why I put the temperance there is because it is kind of a reminder. Having, and like even here, it's the fruit, right? It's the apple. The fruit, again, there's like a whole lot of fruit there. So for me, it's like, really, you're so close to that abundance. But there's a sense of allowing um, patience, having patience, especially when I feel like there's a bigger, a big, big um, something that you're waiting on. So it could be like a big seed that you planted or a big, like I said, it could be... Um, new job that you've been wanting or some sort of manifestation that's a big manifestation let's leave it at that and so i'm feeling like you are starting to manifest and what i want you to like i, I like i really like this idea is start celebrating the small manifestations that you're having right now because i feel like there is you're you're starting to see progress you're starting to see everything kind of like the flowers are coming out and so that's a very important thing coming through here um, yeah, look at this. We're even speeding, even though there's the temperance, like the temperance card, and that's the overall sense here of like patience, things are evolving. And there's a fast moving, like communication, travel fast. There's eight of wands, which is like, oh, we're, we're speeding up. This is definitely feeling like a speed up because um, group one also had a sense of like there's speed coming, coming through. Uh, so we have the step, deception, manipulation, theft, theft, and wearing a mask for the seven of swords. Oh. Okay. So what I what I'm thinking here is <laughs> whew, that there is a sense of I want to say like ignoring possibly your own intuition and your own emotions, or rather like because I see the close closing of the eyes, and rather kind of trying to like stay very much detached, and even though I want to say a little bit of loaf. Again, still not wanting to look at something. So it could be, um, well, we're actually going to, let's find out. But it, it's, it's almost like you're not noticing. I, I kind of won't even say the four of, four of cups. It's like you're not noticing something. You're not noticing, um, I think, the, uh, like the joy, abundance that's coming through. You might be just really focusing, like really not listening to your thought, to, to your emotions, but rather to just being thinking and your thoughts. Um, and there might be some mistakes with your thoughts. I almost want to say like, one one of the mistakes I feel like it's, it's like, oh, things aren't working out or things aren't picking up going fast enough or like, um, like I, I have all these things, but it's not working. And I, I wow, <laughs> that feels like so strongly for me because I, I, have, I tend to think that even though I'm seeing progress, it's sort of like it's, it's not going fast enough for me. So I, I, I um, a lot of the times I want to quit because it's sort of like, oh, it's not, it's not going fast enough. And so what I'm seeing here is, oh, <laughs> yeah, so a spirit sort of calling me out, and hopefully you'll get it too that um we are there is a lot of like i said there is a lot of things coming through there just not be the big manifestations the little manifestations are all coming through and 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 celebrating celebrating those little things and also keep 
keep nourishing them, keep nourishing your dreams. Um, if, even if you don't see that that egg is like, like, you know, you don't have the forest yet, or you don't like the little seedlings are growing. And so this is important for you. Mm -hmm. But there's also a sense maybe of whew, the six of cups here. <sighs> and I want to say with the six of cups, it's sort of like not like here you have this we be giving and receiving. It is interesting because not usually I would say, but there's like a giving and receiving simplicity here of this act here. And I feel like we've forgotten this as well. Like, like we're not noticing any anymore that the gift that's coming, the cup that's coming. And do you want to see what is this? What is the seven of swords? Ten of Wands, okay. What is this Eight of... Eight of Wands doing here? Okay, we have Five of Cups, and then we have the Knight of Swords, then we have the King of Cups, Eight of Cups. What is this King of Swords doing here? What is this? Sorry, I have to... I'm like, I'm using the little tarot, but sometimes that's a little kind of hard <laughs> for me to shuffle while I have a little stone there. So what is this King of Swords thing here? Okay, and what is this Six of Swords thing here? Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Okay. So I'm actually, I'm going to go over here, but this is what I'm noticing. Again, it, it really does feel like for example, here we have, there's a sense of giving and receiving. Um, even here with this two of pentacles, like there's a sense of balance and, I, and I'm going with the six of cups. Um, and it it seems like with the nine of swords, it's sort of we're not, we're afraid of something. We're afraid of not like receiving. We're not focusing on the sun, the sun that's coming out. It's sort of we, we I want to say we're focusing a lot on the, lack whether it's lack of love whether it's like lack of um finances like abundance lack of um lack of, of any kind it's like we have this this sense of like simplicity of giving um giving and receiving but we're so focused on not on the not that we're not seeing when we are receiving, that there is a sense of balance here. I almost wanna say that the universe is trying to give you something, um, but you're not noticing because you, you're keeping your eyes down. And so that's an important thing here. I do see that almost like wearing a mask manipulation. <sighs> like you might be taking on more than, than, than maybe the nourishment is like, you, Maybe you've been planting so many seeds and you're not having been nourishing any really. You, it's more like, oh, you planted so many that you can't actually like really take care of the one. So maybe with this, oh, I like this a lot. Really focusing on one. <laughs> I'm really telling you, this is like, I feel like spirit's calling me out and allowing the time for it to grow. I feel like you're ending this cycle of like caring more than you need to. Um, but part of that is really being honest with yourself. What is working and what is not working? Like where is, um, yeah, like where is it really that you want to put that, um, where are you putting your energy at? Uh, and I want to say don't, like not putting your energy maybe on to somebody else's, but this actually feels like, like somebody else's like, um, you know, benefiting somebody else in terms of like, yeah, I have to say yes to the other people, but it just doesn't feel like that to me. It feels like more like you're kind of like having way too many different ideas um, and you're not really even focusing on one, nourishing the one. So it's sort of like you're having progress, but it's very like little because you, your energy is so, um, so, I want to say all over the place rather than focus. And so it's funny because it's group one really kind of lets me feels like you and group one, group two and group one are kind of interrelated. Um, so five of cups uh, and and knight of swords. So it's time, and this is the, the eight of wands. 
it's time to let go of whatever spilled milk, whatever it is that you mis past mistakes where you felt like, oh no, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't ready, like, or I made that mistake, or I should have done this. Like any shoulda, coulda, woulda's, uh, have to. It's time to let them go and instead take action. Well, <laughs> that's group one too. They have to take action. It's sort of like that's what it is. It's taking action. Um, so this is a very important um, full moon energy because it's time for you to take action. But to know that it's not going to be like right away. It's going to take time, but the time it, the time is going to pass regardless. So might as well do something that you like and really focus on that one thing rather than um, being scattered. Scattered energy, that's what it is. So King of Cups, you've ignored... <laughs> You're ignoring something, yeah. And I feel like that's what I'm seeing here. You have to let go of some things. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing here. Um, you're not listening maybe to your intuition, to your emotions saying uh, that are telling you you have to let go of some of these sticks. You can't keep carrying everything. You can't keep like you can't scatter your energy. You have to focus on it and on it. And so part of focusing means that we have to walk away from some things. Not everything, just the things that aren't, like they're no longer full. They're not giving us something that we need. And so that's what I'm seeing here. That's very important. I love this. Okay. And so it's so funny because then I was going to say, like, like I said, it's sort of like you're, you're in your thoughts. And I can see that. But it's more than that. And I like that. You're a lot of in your thoughts, but you're also like the sword here is clearing out all the, like all, all the illusion, I want to say. All the things where you're like, and the excuses. I, 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 I'm calling you out because I'm calling myself out. So don't be insulted. Don't be, don't take anything I say like anything bad because I'm, I'm hearing this for myself. So I need to call myself and I'll, out on this one. So instead of, I, I want to say like, and even here with the Nine of Cups, instead of just wishing for it, right? We, we have to take action. We have to c cut away all of the illusion, all these things and all the excuses. I'm like, oh, I, you know, and I'm there with you. I have a whole bunch of reasons why things aren't going, you know, like how I want them to go. And it's really, really, if I'm honest with myself, which I think is what we're being, you know, being told here, that we have to be honest. If we can be honest and if we can face that truth, the, the reason, like, if we can look at the, the um, excuses that we've been saying for whether it's like, why I'm not, like, why I'm not with somebody or why I'm, my business isn't thriving or why isn't my YouTube growing, right? Uh, all those things, if we can look at them honestly and be like, okay, all of, like, all the excuses that we have for all those reasons and instead of like cutting them away and instead saying okay what's my action plan what's your action plan for for like if you're if it's love that you want then it's like what's your action plan for for getting that love like are, are you gonna go do a glow up are you gonna you know try like dating are you letting your friends know hey you know i'm 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 like willing to to go out there are you gonna try something new if it's <laughs> for growing their youtube channel like i'm trying to do have you tried new things they you know like have you stuck in it with it like be consistent as you know I, if you you know watch my channel sometimes i'm not as consistent as i would as i would like <clears throat> so it's sort of like i want you to say i want to say if you take action the universe is going to help you it's like it'll meet you halfway and will make that wish come true but you have to take action I like it and no longer feeling kind of, I want to almost say like, don't no longer feeling trapped and feeling sorry for yourself here. It's like, it's time. This does look like there's a new sunrise here. A new day is arriving. We have to take advantage of it. I really like this reading. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I love this. And so this is my magical site oracle. You can find it at Etsy. And this is the Wish Oracle by V Love and Tarot. This is going into retirement, so if you like it, go check it out on Etsy. And I look at this, look at this. I want you to see this. And if you actually saw, like I, I, oh, I love this. There is opportunities. There is wish fulfillment coming, but you have to take things in a positive outlook. Yes, not only like the positive outlook, but taking action from this of um, looking at it, looking at this. It's sort of like. Hey, you know, look at all these accomplishments. Hey, maybe it's not the big accomplishment. This manifestation, it's not the big manifestation, but hey, things are working out. Like looking at that in, in that sense is so important. This, oh, this is that beautiful energy. I really like it. it got me excited. Um, let's see what your 
time to release negativity right here, right there. And it's a full moon in Scorpio, which is, that's what the, this, the full moon in Scorpio eclipse is happening. So it is, it's time to release negativity. It's, we're really looking at this positive outlook and then step into your power. I cannot, this is like, I like mic drop right there. It is. We're take and what's stepping into your power? It's taking action. It's no longer letting all those excuses, all the reasons why things aren't going your way. If you have any of those, like if if you know, like I want you to take a look at all the things that you've been like, oh, things aren't working out with me for for me in this way. Look at them. Write all those reasons why you haven't, and see them for what they are. A lot of them are excuses. I'm not saying all of them are, but a lot of them are excuses. <clears throat> And, and I'm not even, I'm not saying, oh, beat yourself about it. No, it's like, it's sort of like, okay, all these are excuses. So what do I need to do to take action to make this happen? And in, like I said, I like the universe spirit is going to meet you halfway. And it, you're going to get that wish fulfillment. Finally, right? Finally, opportunities are there. But you have to take, you have to be willing to, to take those steps there first. I'm excited for your group too. <laughs> I got so excited. Uh, like I said, I it's like this was a good one. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing. And also if you can share it with others that you think will benefit from my content. It really does. It like helps the channel grow. Um, and just thank you so much for being here. I feel honored that I was able to read your oracle cards and tarot cards. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Hello, my friends from group three. Oh, I'm so happy you are here. So, very excited. Let's see what we have for you for this moon moon. So we have fruition. So things are coming coming out. You're finally manifesting. I love this. There's birds. Um, so maybe some communication coming your way. I do see that there's a mask. So I'm going to, well, we're going to see what, what it means. But there means maybe that you're not acknowledging the manif like that you are, that there's a lot of fruition for you that a, maybe you are like, oh, or maybe you don't want to show off to others. Let's, let's see. Let's see what it all means. Huh? You have the high priestess. <laughs> and I feel like somehow the high priestess also feels like you're hiding something. <laughs> it's, and not in a bad way. It's sort of like you're just masking yourself. It's like, oh, people can't know how awesome things are. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oof. There's a lot of, um, you have like major arcana, big time. You have the high priestess, emperor, the death card. <sighs> okay. So I'm feeling here there's... Um, So what I'm seeing here with this five of pentacles is sort of like you are not acknowledging that you're not acknowledging all the abundance that you do have. Um, instead, you kind of seem to be focusing on things that you've had to let go of, like eight of cups energy here. Like, I feel like there's a sense of like, there could be something that can make you happy. So I'm what I'm seeing here is that you're not really focusing on the happy thoughts or the happy moments in your life, but rather focusing on moss. Uh, eight of eight of cups because even though it's like you've moved on because of because you know that's where your energy needed to go they're still kind of like you're still holding on to it um almost i feel like there's a sense of almost uh prayer or like even closing your eyes to it and if like with the mask again um death there was an ending you have some sort of ending the emperor I feel like taking action here, the high priestess though. I'm actually going to put this as the high priestess because over here is really the energy overall, I feel like. Um, so intuition, right? Intuition, yes. But there's this, another sense of the high priestess. It's, it's sort of like, huh. I always associate her with a little bit of the um, queen of swords because there's a sense of detachment here with the high priestess. There's a sense of just like, waiting and and seeing what happens and it's not a bad thing sometimes but i i feel like it's it's not the time for that it's more like yes listening to your intuition but not so much not disengaging i almost feel like all right let's see let's see what you can clarify this with. what is this five of pentacles doing Temperance. <laughs> what is this emperor doing here? Eight of swords. Okay, what is this death card doing here? 
Emperor. <laughs> what is this for? Of uh, for one stone, two one ship. Okay, so this is eight of swords down here. Six of swords. Okay. Um, and then what is this high priestess doing here? Queen of Wands and Seven of Cups. Okay, I'm sorry that my buddy is like, he's, I don't know, lately he's been kind of like, um, very, like, I would say energetic, <laughs> but also kind of intense. <laughs> Love him though. All right, so we have Five of Pentacles and then Temperance. So I'm going to say, uh, this is going to be a little like isolation and abandonment, not enough to go around. Um, even though you feel like there's not enough in some way, you, there is a way for you to um, like needing to find balance also with this temperance. I also want to say like giving some time. Like, I, I want you're making. I, I can feel this five of pentacles turning into a nine of pentacles. Um, but I think it's like you're focusing, like you're you're thinking that this five of pentacles energy is the one only energy that you're going to be in. Um, <laughs> that you don't, you're, you're so stuck in it in terms of like, oh my goodness, not enough, not enough. And I get it. I understand. Uh, I feel like a lot of people understand this. There's, there's a lot of, um, I feel like, Right now, there's a, a sense of scarcity in the world. Um, but never think that that is like that that moment is something that will stay forever. Um, this too shall pass. And I feel like this is the, the energy that I'm seeing here. This too shall pass. This five of pentacles will pass. Um, it may take a little bit of time and it take, may take a little bit of patience on your part, but it is. It is happening, like, and it could be, and and so I, and this, like, I'm saying in terms of money, but I'm, it could be that this, you're feeling isolated, where you feel like, oh my goodness, I'm, like, <laughs> I want to say like, oh, love will never happen, and that's not true. It it feels like that. It, we whenever we're in a in a tough situation, we feel like it's going to be that way forever. But the universe is never like that. Even when we're in the very happy situations, even that will pass too because there's an, an ebb and flow to life. And so this too shall pass, my friends. And so give yourself the time. I do feel like the emperor is feeling stuck. And so this is that same energy. I feel like you're, you're feeling um, trapped. Maybe you're, you're feeling like you can't, take action you can't there's nothing you can do to take action um <clears throat> and so i feel like that's a lot of in our heads like i said we think that this moment whatever like scarcity it could be love it could be money it could be uh, time whatever it is we think that that's true that there's a scarcity there and it's always going to be that way no and so we our thoughts are actually making it worse right we magnify those thoughts it, it's it's just natural for us because if i like to call it the snowball effect you just think about something right and then and then you think about and then like let's say something bad right and then you're like oh my goodness and then this can happen and then this can happen and then this can happen and there's an, uh, a whole snowball of like bad consequences right that you don't want um, but it's your thoughts here. And so I, I want to almost say take, it's time to take off the blinders. It's time to, to allow the, your true power to come through. And here is what I'm seeing as your true power. And I, 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 there's two, two senses here. That death card. It is time for you to end something. Well, could be definitely, I feel like, being feeling trapped, right? Feeling trapped. All those emotion, all those thoughts need to end but there's also a sense of an ending of inaction i really want to say it's time for you to take action like even i, I want to even say this even if you're feeling stuck even if you're feeling like there's no way for take baby steps take some sort of steps moving forward it is time for you to decide <laughs> it really is the time for you to decide right decide go in a path that you haven't tried before so if you if you've been trying 
going one way and you've been hitting your head against the wall. It could be like you have a certain person in mind that you want to be with, but you keep hitting your head against the wall with that person. Maybe it's time for you to try. I'm not saying forever. Try to find a like maybe somebody else is there that's going to give you this happily ever after. And you know, like, but you're so stuck on one person that you're not seeing this. Or maybe you are stuck on like, okay, this is the way I make money, right? This is the, the only way I make money, but that's not right now. This is, there's, it's, there's money isn't, that's not the path for you to be in. Doesn't mean that it's forever. I'm just saying, like I said, this too shall pass, but there's an alternative. There's a, like, I almost want to say there's a portal for you. That's opportunity portal that's opening for you. But you have to take it. You have to choose. You have to decide. And, and, and I want to say the decision here comes with deciding to be happy, deciding to like, what is it that's going to like, um, yeah, what is it that's going to give me the things that I want? And so acknowledging maybe that walking away, this ending, like ending this, walking away from something, it is like not seeing it as this sadness, as, as like, oh, I'm never going to get this back. Possibly you won't, but possibly you will, but rather seeing it as it's something, it's, there's a new opportunity for me, the six of swords. I'm leaving behind the scarcity and I'm moving towards something even better. And if you can do that, oh, that's where it's at, my friends. And that's what we have here with this um, high priestess. And I love that it kind of corrected me. It says, no, this high priestess is not going to be the queen of swords. It's actually the queen of wands. And the queen of wands is all about like, yeah, she has a lot of power. She has a lot of um, creativity, a lot of passion. And that's what you need right now. This is how you get out of this situations that even of the scarcity is trying. The high priest is your intuition is actually guiding you. It's, and I like that she's like, I'm not being detached. I'm actually giving you the answer. Your intuition is being giving you the answer. It's saying, look, there's more than one opportunity. There's more than one choice for you right here. But you got to listen to your, like I said, passion, creativity. Here's the hummingbird, joy, and follow through and do it. Um, wow, this is like, <laughs> I have to say, spirit's been, it's, 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 it's been a bit of a, a tongue lashing, uh, not just for you, because I feel like this is also for me, um, but it's sort of like, yeah, spirit really wants us to know, like, no, no more saying that we're the victims, but rather taking full power of our, our like, taking full power of ourselves. Like here, we have so many different things for us. So let's look at what the magical site. This is my oracle. You can find it on Etsy in the Wish, wish um, Oracle by the Love and Tarot. See what it tells us, twin flames <laughs> and second chances. Okay, and so, <laughs> oh, I do like this. Okay. So but let's do it as if it was twin flames. So what I'm seeing here is that you, and this is not for everybody. This is just for, for those who this is going to make sense. You're going to, it's going to resonate. You are feeling like um, abandoned, right? This person who you cared about cannot get out of a situation, but that doesn't mean anything. Things like I still say the same thing to you. Just because a situation is that way right now doesn't mean that it has to be forever. There's things can change, but there is a sense here also of like you needing to find happiness. It's not about you just waiting for this connection. It, you have to also find happiness in your own path, right? Um, sometimes that's what we need. We need the healing to happen and then boom, all of a sudden people come together. There's a twin flame, they come together. Um, but, but there, you know, but you have to like, it's like really taking charge of your life. So what I'm going to say with this other twin flame, what I'm saying is, <sighs> this is the beautiful thing. And like here you have the second chances. There is second chances. Don't think that this is like over forever, right? But that doesn't, I'm not telling you to just stick around and wait. I'm telling you really to actually go off and live your life and, and, and keep growing, not focusing so much on this eight of cups, but other the six of swords of like all the opportunities of all this amazing things that's coming your way, right? I feel like that's important message for you, for those who this has to do with twin flames that are not being able to come together yet. And that's an important thing, right? <clears throat> it will come, divine timing will happen. Now, for others of you, for if, and still the same message, but what I'm saying here is our reality <laughs> is often what our thoughts are or how, how we perceive the world is sort of like how we perceive everything else. Like, so um, 
<laughs> so what I'm seeing here is if we're living, if our thoughts are focusing on scarcity, that's where we're going to be. If if we're focusing on on, on like an abundance, right? If we're focusing on like all this abundance that we have, or even if we don't have a whole bunch of abundance, but rather we see the opportunities that are before us, even just in our head. Like, hey, you know what? I'm going to try this. And if I try this, maybe this was going to happen. And so what I'm seeing is like, you're, you, if you don't like anything of your reality, it is time for you to change something within. And go within, listen to your intuition because your intuition is really guiding you to being to, to get the fulfillment, to, to get the fruition that you so want. So a second chance here is a, a quite lovely <laughs> because I feel like we all need a second chance sometimes. And so is this a second chance maybe for, for something that you've been wanting? It's like you want some sort of fruition, you want some, some outcome and you're getting a second chance here, right? But you have to take action. And I feel like that's the overall energy for, for this full moon. It's you have to take action. It's not enough just to, <clears throat> to live in the excuses. It's not just enough to be like, you know, have all these excuses, be the vic victim. No. Life, spirit, God, whatever it is, whoever you want to, uh, uh, ancestor, whatever it is, your intuition, yourself, wants you to have everything that you want. But you have to take action. You have to take responsibility. You have to be your own superhero, my friend. And that I really do like. Let's see what we have here. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yes, you are. You're really close to the fruition, but you're not seeing it. It's almost like you're masking it somehow. I don't know why, but you're close to achieving it. Um, and then we have full moon. Be real. Be honest. And and maybe that's like you have the close. You're you're so close to reaching fruition. But you have to, you know, acknowledge you no longer can let those excuses or any of those things that have been blocking you block you anymore. You have power. You have opportunities here. The Spirit is guiding you. <clears throat> so I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you can, please um, share it with those uh, who you think would benefit from my content. It really does help the channel grow. And I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for letting me read your cards. I, I was there with you. So if you felt like you were being called out, I'm right there. I was being called out too. <laughs> so don't take it personal. Spirit is strong on it in this particular full moon. So. Uh, it's important messages. So thank you so much for being here. I am sending you a giant hug and until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends. <music> so my friends, thank you for being here to do the Reiki with me. I hope this Reiki provides you with um, well, all the energetic blessings that you need and deserve. So let's just get started. Um, just Please let Reiki flow naturally, easily, and for the highest good of all. And please let all those who are watching receive the energetic blessings that they need for their highest good. This is better. Thank you.
so much for being here. Bye-bye, my friends, until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.